Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco, and this is gonna be another Java video. So today uh, we will be uh, seeing uh, Faker in action. Uh, Faker is a very interesting library for us to be able to fake uh, data. And faking data can be useful for several reasons, right? Um, it could be useful for you to be able to create uh, test data that you might use in your integration tests or your end-to-end -end tests. Um, it can be useful for uh, big data as you want to uh, do data science and analyze a data set. Um, it can be useful for, for product development where like POs want to do acceptance testing. Um, so, so definitely there are several use cases for that. And there is a, 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 a bigger team called um, um, synthetical data generation where um, <clears throat> people are kind of reading schemas like uh, metadata saying, okay, there's a table here and then I have an ID that's like a 10 bytes uh, or I have an address that is like a Varchar 2 with, uh, I don't know, 30 characters or I have, um, um, you know, in Brazil we have a number called CPF which is like uh, our social security number similar like, and uh, you know, uh, you could look for that and then generate a valid uh, CPF. So basically, um, you know, you look to the metadata and then you generate the data. So Faker, which is uh, the Java solution we're gonna show, it's like similar like to Faker.js, um, but it's, this is Java one, um, it is able to generate things, but it doesn't have this whole concept of uh, synthetical data generation where it looks to schemas uh, and, and generate things. And often the solutions, you know, also they use machine learning. But, you know, uh, even not having the complete set, uh, this also can be useful for you. So um, let's uh, take a look and see how Faker works, right? So I have a idea project here, I'm gonna open. And as soon as I open here, um, Let's wait. Okay, so let's start with dependencies, right? So I'm using Maven here, and I have um, pretty much uh, just Faker, right? That's JUnit for testing, but it doesn't matter. And uh, it's just one uh, single jar, right? And um, Faker has uh, uh, some uh, dependencies here, like commons, uh, and you know, anyway, uh, it, it doesn't matter at the moment. Um, so let's take a look. It's very simple, right? So um, what you do is like this. Uh, you create a Faker instance, and then you can ask about stuff like Faker, give me a name and I want a full name. Uh, give me a name and I want a first name. Give me a name and I want the last name. Or you can want for address. Or, um, you know, I want to have an MD5 hash for me. Or even uh, I want a Harry Potter character. So if you look Faker, there's a lot of things that Faker can do, right? So it can it can give you addresses, it can give you uh, funny names, can give ancient, can give animals, um, can give artists, like can give you avatar, aviation stuff, back to future, beer, books, bullion, business, you know, cats, colors, commerce, company, countries, currency, date, demographics, dog, educator, and so on. You see there's so many things here, like uh, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, hipster, you know, um, and go on and on and on. Internet stuff, job, um, and the list goes on and on. You have even Pokemons, um, Rick and Morty, this is a good one. Um, there's so many things here, right? So it, it's really capable of uh, generating data. And then... We just run here and we're gonna see the result. Um, in a moment, yes, there we go. So if we keep running, you're gonna see that the data will change all the time. So now is uh, uh, Lila um, in one of the last uh, first name. Then we go again is Maudi uh, and everything else is changed as you guys can see. Uh, in Harry Potter here also we see that the name uh, is changing all the time, right? Here. Yeah. So that's it. The idea is like you use Faker uh, in your tests, right? So for uh, these use cases I describe, 
I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.